Hi, Mr. Squeegee with another episode of Weather or Not for the Summer, brought to you on behalf of windowcleaningresource.com. Today I want to talk about safety. It's on my mind today because there's a job that we just couldn't get done today because of safety concerns. That was a three-story gutter cleaning job, and it was an 8-12 pitch on the roof, so there was really no way to walk the roof to do the gutters. Uh, the terrain was horrible in certain spots, so there was really no way to get a ladder in there. Uh, and at that, it had been a 32 or 40 foot extension ladder. Uh, then there were power lines everywhere that would have created a, a real hazard to me uh, on a ladder or even trying to do anything with a pole setup. So it was one of those situations where I could have made a, a good amount of money in a very little amount of time, but odds are I was going to get hurt and be out of work or possibly even dead. So it was just not worth taking that kind of risk. So sometimes there are those issues. You just have to disappoint a customer and tell them, I'm sorry, but I can't, I can't do this. It's just uh, it's too, uh, too hazardous. So we had to do that today. And it just made me realize that safety is, is very important. You really need to think about everything you're doing from ladder sets. Is this set right? Is it, uh, you know, do I, when I put it against there, can I put my hands out at shoulder length and put them on, put them on a rung? Do I have the proper angle? Do I have a, a ladder stopper or the, the ladder tech ladder limpets to keep it from kicking out on me if I'm a, a sole operator? Those are important things to think about. Do I have a standoff? Do I have uh, you know, leg levelers for those difficult angles? Uh, and if it's too difficult, you know, can I use a pole to do this properly? Uh, but when you're using a pole, remember the power lines. All it would take is one misstep and you slip, most of these poles are aluminum and that, that would be it to be, uh, again, horribly injured or killed. So just some, some things to think about. If we're going to be on a roof, uh, one of the things I recommend is a good pair of shoes uh, with uh, good traction on them. I know Alex and Chris like to use those skate shoes. Uh, I recently got myself a pair of Merrill brand shoes uh, for several reasons. They had good tread on the bottom. I'm very comfortable when I'm on a roof with them. Uh, but more importantly, I do a few add-ons like gutter cleaning or power washing, so I really want a waterproof shoe, and these are that. And something else we want to think about is maybe a, a steel toe if you, you know, worry about uh, working with glass and dropping that. So there's a lot of different safety concerns that we need to be thinking about at this time of year. Uh, it's getting to be hot. Sometimes we get, uh, as we talked about earlier, get a little dehydrated. Sometimes we get fatigued, we're not thinking clearly, and that's when we can make that, that simple safety mistake where we're going to pay a heavy price for it. So, just be safe out there, remember to look around, make sure everything's set up just right, and sometimes being safe means saying no to a job. So again, this has been another episode of Whether or Not. I'm your host, Mr. Squeegee, and on behalf of windowcleaningresource.com, I'd like to thank you.